to Valerie's Virtual Talk. Hello, coders. So today we're going to talk about variables. So now I have this print thing. But then, unfortunately, we're going to delete this. All right, so create... Hey, that's out. Okay, never mind that. So to create a variable, we put a variable name. Now in this case, I'm gonna put cat. Now if I do this, these are two different variables. So I'm gonna go with the capital cat though. Why are you always making that sound like beer? All right, equals one. Now if I run it, seriously. Oh yeah, that's right, oh okay. Now, Let's add a cat name. Well, this won't completely solve the problem, but the cat's name's gonna be Chloe. Chloe. Tch. All right, oh, I forgot to put the punctuation marks. Then Clo Clo Chloe and close it. All right, this won't solve the problem yet. So then what we need to do is add a print. So print, print. Now if we only add the cat, cat variable, what's what you're gonna expect? Are you gonna, well, obviously it's going to be the variable cat up here and I put it inside here instead of cat name. So that's gonna make a difference. Now it's one, so. Okay, so now, so now if we want both of them to show up, what I'm gonna do is add another print and type in cat name. Now run it. One Chloe. <laughs> one Chloe, one Chloe, one Chloe. Okay, never mind. So. Now with naming variables, so I'm gonna go down here and type them down for you. I'm not gonna run it because the computer's gonna get confused. So first, all, all letters and numbers can be used. So A, B, C, A, B, C, A, B, C, et cetera, A, B, C, et, et cetera. And then one, two, three, et cetera. Or maybe, sorry. yeah, that's how you spell it, etc. Etc. So all of these work, but you can't start with a number. Let's say if there's like one cat equals one. No, that won't work. So I have to start with cat and then I can put one and put one there. Now symbols such as hyphen, comma, slash, no, comma, comma just to separate them, okay? So this slash, uh, where the sharp sign or at sign can't be used. All right, so, and so spaces like this, like I can't oh my so I can't use this you are good equals one that won't that won't work ah but I could do you are no wait you are goo one now you're wondering why is this space here it's because to separate them, so what happens if it's like this? Equals, and get rid of this space. Now, does that look a little smushed? Yeah, so that's why we separate them. Uppercase and lowercase are different. Python treats cats equals one, and cats equals two differently. So be careful. So I'm gonna be, watch out for that. Don't use Python words as a command, such as print, paint. Nah, I'm just kidding. Print. 
So if we use this, print equals one. Now it's gonna confuse the laptop and you know. All right, so now let's do some apples. So first, sadly, we need to delete this. I hate that sound. All right, oh, stop it. All right, so let's do apples. Apples equals two. And print. Oh my. Don't need it, capital. Print. Apples. Now, if I run it, it's going to be two, right? Now, what happens if I change it to a number like 23? Now, what happens if I run it? Now, it's going to be 23. So, basically, what I'm showing you is that like when I change a number and I run it it's gonna change the numbers so like 72 run yeah so let's bring it back to do so if I add let's say a tiny apple that kind of apples <laughs> equals three. Okay, this is gonna be hard. Print A P P L E S. Now if I run it, two, three, C. Although that's a pretty complicated name, it still works. Now what happens as you say, as you saw earlier, what happens if I use print? might glitch out the system but print now what happens if i use this whoa wait no oh why is this here all right so now we're gonna type in print see oh yeah i literally glitched out the system but just to show you that's what happens if you use print. How about PPAP? Print. Will that fix the system? PPAP. Analyzing your code. Yeah, Mrs. Assistant. So look, see. <laughs> In shouldn't say print whatever so yeah as you can see it will work as long as you don't use a variable like no not a variable um like a what do you call it um like something like print so um py um a command that python uses like print we can't use that so yeah, but PPAP works. <laughs> what if we try a complicated name like Pen Pineapple Apple Pen? Now I just need to delete this. And I don't want to do this, so let's just copy it. It works. See, <laughs> even that complicated word works. So, besides, it says pen, pineapple, apple pen. So, so if you actually like make make like spaces, like I'm not talking about this kind of spaces. I'm talking about this kind of spaces. I'm I'm doing this so you can actually see. Ben pineapple apple pen. Oh yeah, I already told you, but that can be used as an as a thing. But I need to change this. And it works still. So if I use spaces, it's gonna glitch out again, like you see in like if you backtrack, you'll see like like assistants like oh no, it's wrong.
and then a bug. So then, even this complicated thing without spaces, you may think that spaces, but the underscores are actually not spaces. They're actually like, you know, I mean, they're filling up the space, but really it looks like a space and Python accepts it, so yeah. So I hope you have a wonderful super coding today. Coders, make sure you like and subscribe that button and goodbye coders.